Hello. In this video, we will look at the basics of the gyroscope. The gyroscope is used in many aircraft instruments such as the Artificial Horizon, HSI, which is the main directional indication, and the turn and slip indicator. Gyroscopes are also used in inertial navigation systems, but these days they tend to use ring laser gyroscopes. More on that later. As always, nothing in the video will be too complicated. In other videos that discuss flight instruments using gyroscopes, we will give more detail on its use. However, the idea of this video is to describe the basics. The gyroscope is a device that is used to detect the deviation of an object from its desired orientation. This is done by spinning a circular disc which is called the rotor. As the rotor is spun, it gains conservation of angular momentum, which effectively means it will try and maintain its orientation in space, unless acted upon by an external force. The basic device contains a rotor, a spin axis by which the rotor is spun, at least one gimbal, and the frame. The axis is attached to a fixed frame, which is allowed to rotate on the gimbal. The gyroscope has two properties that are useful for flight instruments. The first is rigidity. Rigidity is the principle that a gyroscope remains in a fixed position in the plane in which it is spinning. In other words, it will try and remain in the same position, relative to space, whilst the rotor is spinning. This clip shows the frame being tilted, but the rotor remains horizontal. Whatever angle the frame is tilted to, the rotor tries to remain in its original position. The frame could simulate an aircraft pitching, and if a pointer was attached to the spin axis frame, it could be used to indicate pitch angle, for example. The second gyroscope property useful for flight instruments is called precession. This is where the force applied to the gyroscope rotor is effectively moved 90 degrees in the direction of spin. In this diagram, the rotor is spinning in the direction of the arrow shown. Using an upward force on the spin axis would be equivalent to applying the force on the top of the rotor, as shown. The force is translated 90 degrees in the direction of the spin, which will try and turn the spin axis as shown by the arrow. This means that in this example, an upward force is translated into a sideways force. This is a useful property for instruments such as the turn and slip indicator. As with any other instrument, a gyroscope will suffer from errors. Specific to the gyroscope, errors are known as wonder errors. These are subdivided into two aspects, real wonder, and apparent wonder. Real wonder is caused by mechanical errors in the manufacturing stage, such as the gyroscope not being perfectly balanced, and friction in the bearings. Real wonder can be reduced, but not completely removed by improved manufacturing tolerances. Apparent wonder happens because the spin axis is maintained relative to space, and not the Earth's surface. Therefore, as the Earth rotates, or the gyroscope is moved, the direction of the spin axis will appear to wander, or change slowly. Unfortunately, these errors have to be corrected periodically by the pilot. In modern aircraft, the inertial reference and navigation systems contain gyroscopes that are called ring laser gyroscopes. This operates on an effect called the Sagnac effect. Two beams of laser light are fired from a light source. The half-silvered mirror allows one beam to go one direction, and the other beam to go at right angles to the first. At rest, both beams should arrive at the detector at the same time, 
in the same phase. Sagnac discovered that if the frame now starts a rotation, one beam of light takes longer to go around the loop than the other. The rate of turn can be measured by the gap in time between the beams of light arriving at the detector. This is complex physics, which won't be explained here. But don't worry, the theory is not important. What is worth noting is that the device, unlike a mechanical gyroscope, has no moving parts, and is less susceptible to bias errors. This is the end of this video on gyroscopes. Any video we do on flight instruments that contain gyroscopes will, of course, describe how those gyroscopes operate in that instrument. Suffice to say, this video gave only the basic information, which will give sufficient knowledge for the technical level of the relevant flight instrument videos. Goodbye.